If you want to connect your data to a front end to create things like an employee portal, a custom CRM, a client portal, or any other type of application, check out NoLoco. NoLoco has recently integrated with SmartSuite, which allows custom apps to be developed on top of your SmartSuite, Airtable, or Google Sheets data. I'm going to show you an example of what could be developed and how you can easily get started. Welcome to our channel. My name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, please visit our website below to book a free console. I'm going to briefly demo how you could set up an employee portal. I'm going to show you both what the portal would look like and how you can get started, such as connecting your data and adding some of the components to make the application actually work for you. Before I get started, you can navigate to noloco.io. You can create an account there for free to get started. You will also need a SmartSuite account. There is a link in the description below to sign up for SmartSuite if you have not done so already. From there, once you've logged in, there's a number of templates already developed for you that you can get started with and play around with to see how uh, some of the functionality works. And then from there, I have my application. I've pre-built this. I'm just going to walk through a really simple and basic scenario of how employee portal could be used so it can work as an employee portal. So your employees log in and they have various permissions based off of the level and type of employee they are. Uh, you can have an employee directory in there. You can have an employee profile and time off requests. Uh, so they can submit a request for time off between certain dates and whether it's sick time, vacation time, so on. And then there's also an option to set up time off approvals and manager could get notified of a time off request and they can navigate to a specific page and be able to approve the time off or any other type of action that may need to be taken on that information. Just a quick walkthrough of what it looks like. And here is the employee directory. It's really simple. There's just a couple of employees connected and I'll show you the HR management system. This is built in smart suite. Again, really simple solution, but we got an employee directory with different information that could be related. And then we have the time off requests that links to the employee directory. That's what the no loco application is connected to and is pulling the data from. We have the employee directory so that all employees can see who works there, get the email address and the department and so on. And then there's a the time off approvals. So this would be only available to a team admin or a manager or um, however you set up your permissions in that way. Once a request has been submitted for time off, it would show up here in the pending option. And then from there, your manager uh, could select if they've been approved the time off or not. But you can see I'm logged in with myself and I'm a team admin, so I have access to this information. If I go down here and select another person, you can see they are just users. When I navigate back, there's only the employee directory and then the time off request form. But you can see that this person has not yet submitted any time off requests. Nothing shows up here, but they could navigate up to new time off and select the information that's relevant from there. And I will go to a person that has a record here, but you can see that this person has submitted a uh, time off in 2023 that has been approved. So they can go back through their history and see all that information that they've submitted. And if they navigate into their profile, they can see their vacation days used and their balance. They have a total of five sick days and one has been used. You can see the sick day balance and fully customizable. You can add and remove any information that you want to be able to be showing to different levels of users. What I'm going to show you now is how to get started. What we want to do is connect your data in a smart suite solution. So whether it's the HR management solution or something else, some other type of application, client portal, employee portal, so on, we can navigate to no loco, create your account. And I'm just going to build a new app from scratch so we can click into it here. If this is your first time, you will need to authenticate your smart suite or Airtable account. And if you click into it, you can start the authentication process. Pretty straightforward. It'll just be a couple of clicks and you'll have to log into your smart suite account. 
I've already done so, so I can name the app, whatever I want. I'm just going to call it employee solution or employee portal rather. And it says that I can select that. So we'll click next. It will take a few seconds to authenticate and connect to your data. Once you've done so, you can go in and choose your workspace. So I'm going to select my demos workspace and I'm going to select the solution, which is called HR management. And you can search for that. I've connected that and you can name it whatever you want. So this is the, the name of the source that you can refer back to later. This part also takes a few minutes. All it's doing is analyzing your data. It will go through a few other steps and it actually uses AI to uh, take a guess how you would want your data structured. The first few pages will be pre-built and pre-developed for you. And from there you can go in and edit or you can totally delete it and start from scratch if you want to as well. But it's pretty intuitive and a really simple way to get started. Once it's completed, you can go ahead and click next and your application will start to load. You can see here, a couple of pages have been created for us. I will get into that shortly. And from here, what I want to do is first thing, I want to link our user table in the HR management solution in smart suite. I have my employee directory and those are the people I'm going to use for my users. I can go back into the no loco application, navigate to users here, and then go up to the three dots and select sync your users. We'll create a new user list. You can name this, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my users. And then you want to select a specific table, which is the employee directory. Then from here, there's a few fields we have to map. We want to map the email address field, and then you don't have to, but I certainly would recommend it. I'm going to map a first name and last name field. Just so you're aware up front, there is a full name field type within smart suite. It does not yet. I don't believe connect with no loco in this instance. What I have done back in here is I have extracted the first and the last name from full name. You could also just use single text fields and type it in as separate fields as well. I'll go in here, select the email. I'll get the first name and I will get the last name. And then I'm going to include all users. You can select the default user role. I want for all my users and because I'm the developer of the application, I'll already be pre-selected as a team admin, but for every other user for the time being, I'm going to make them a user. You can add conditional roles depending on your upgraded plan, but from here, this is good enough to get started. I'll save and the users will begin importing. It will take a few minutes for this to happen. You can see here that to check back in a few minutes once the users have been synced, but we can start working on other components for now. We'll select done. I'll go back to our app and then we can see here, this is the time off request and employee directory that already been pre-built. One other thing I do want to touch on first is here's our data. This is the name that we've used. This is what's pulling in from the HR management solution. And here are the two tables or applications that exist within our smart suite solution. So there's various settings, permissions, syncing that you can do here to navigate and bring in information. If you've updated it back in smart suite directly, I won't get into that too much for the time being. I want to show you how to build the front end. I'll go back to the app. We can see here, this is the time off request. This would be the form. And then here's our employee directory. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few changes to the employee directory. This is currently set up as a table, which might be fine for your use case, but I want to go in, I'm going to modify the current page. I'm going to go and select display. And then we have different options here to display all these users or more so the employee directory. We have things like rows and columns, cards. So you can select cards if you wanted. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a row. We can see here that all the information is being brought in for the use of an employee directory. We're going to keep it really simple. 
this is for all of your users or all of your employees company wide when they log in and they want to be able to con contact someone and look up some certain information, uh, they can do so easily. They probably don't need things like vacation days, vacation balance, date of birth, of that type of information. From here, what we can do, it's pretty simple. They've made it really easy for us down the left side. We can select what information we want to display. There's only a few things that we're going to display, which is going to be full name. We're going to display the email and we are going to display maybe the department, which is currently not selected. Add department. We're going to turn off first name, last name, sick balance, and everything else here that we do not need. We're only going to display the full name, email, and part. We can even get rid of the employee ID. That's probably not relevant in this case either. Other thing that we might want to do is here's a button to add a new employee to the directory. Uh, we could probably create some sort of permission to allow only certain users to be able to do that. There is an icon here that will allow uh, visibility to specific users. But you can see when I select a person that only has the user permissions that the button does not show up here. But if I go back to myself as a team admin, the button will display. I could add a, a new employee directly here myself. So that's just a quick example of how to set up the employee directory. If you wanted, you could click into it as well. So you'll see this row link here. And what we're going to do is open up the employee directory. When it's been selected, you have an option to display different information. There's all sorts of different modules here. That's how you would display more detailed information. If you wanted to allow a user to click into this, things like date of birth, vacation days, and sick time, you may not want to show that information to everyone that may only be relevant to HR or specific managers. From here, you also have the flexibility to go into visibility up here, and then you could change to users with these specific roles. It could be HR, team admin, so on, so that the average user wouldn't be able to select the record and see the more detailed and maybe more private information. We'll navigate back to time off requests. What would be done here is we could set it up so that the user, whoever the logged in user is, can see all of their time off requests that they have submitted previously and allow them to select this button, similar to how I showed you in the pre-built app to request more time off or report sick days and so on. So we could filter those records accordingly to only show them records that belong to them. And then we could simply duplicate this page and then change up some of the permissions and filters. And again, add visibility to only allow HR or specific managers to view all of the records that have been submitted uh, by staff, where then they have the flexibility to dynamically approve or deny time off requests. If you select here, this would be the time off request. We'll go down to modify the current page. I want to change the display maybe to a table. Then from here, we can filter by the logged in user and the link to the time off request collection. So that's linking to the time off request back in SmartSuite. Now you can see that I'm the logged in user and I can only see my data here. And then if I log in with another user, they can only see their data. The last thing I might want to do is create that approval list for managers in HR. And because it's very similar data, I'm just going to go in here. We're going to clone the application. I'm just going to call this time of approval. I can go in, modify the page. I want to get rid of that filter. Now we're going to show all records. And you could do things like sort or group by. We can go into the display and we're going to group by the approved status. We'll just type in status, select that, and then we can see what records are pending, approved, and so on. If I select into this user, I can then go into edit. And as long as I'm logged in as the team admin, I can go in and make an edit and say approved, denied, and so on. This is just one of many possibilities that you could create and develop uh, by integrating no loco as your front end with your smart suite data as your back end create a wide range of custom applications 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future. Thanks.